happy winter everybody. It's certainly chilly this morning. It's been such a long time since we put a video together for YouTube, but we have been filming over summer and the autumn, and now winter. So um, what have we been up to? Um, at the tail end of summer, we helped um, Lee's mum and stepdad bring their boat down from Braunston to Gayton as they bought a, a new little, I think it's a 39 footer. Um, so that was good fun. Went through all the locks and all that sort of stuff. Um, been to loads of festivals and shows. Um, we've been doing all sorts of bits and bobs, we've been doing some restoration work aboard Hannah, so we've done the front um, bow, front bow, well it's just the bow I suppose, we've done the bow, we've done the um, roof box, and that was a chore, um, I was just going to replace the lids with aluminium but the whole thing fell apart so we had to rebuild the whole thing, uh, we've made a new hatch, or the top of the hatch and painted that and it all looks nice, so I suppose the best thing to do is just show you, here's a little recap of our summer. <laughs> So that was our summer and um, we did have one sad point, really sad point really and I didn't realise how hard it was going to hit me is uh, we lost our Jack Russell Terrier and Buddy Wiser would know him the first who was with us for 17 and three quarter years so she had a good old Indian, Indians bless her and um, she loved the boat life uh, she's been aboard Hannah with us since we had the boat um, but she also was aboard Spindrift when she was six months old so all throughout her life she's, she's been boating um, but like I say I never knew, quite knew or understood how hard losing a dog is um, it was it really was like losing a family member and I suppose those of you who have dogs understand exactly what I mean those that haven't had dogs probably think I'm being another but you know that that's the fact and for a couple of weeks after her death um, it was so quiet on this boat because I worked from the boat so um, it felt quite lonely to be fair when Lee was off off uh, in work in Dunstable I was here working away on the boat and normally I've got you know every now and again I've got the boat the dog jumping around and wanting to go out for a wee and all that and it just helps keep you busy and and a bit of companionship so um, we didn't want to get another dog straight away but we did have a look at this this is Hector Hector you're a new 
new skink? Are you a new little skinky dog? You're so tiny. Hector's stealing all the puzzle pieces. <laughs> no, Hector. <laughs> Hector, you're a pest. You're not, yeah, where's Daddy? No, oh, he's taking the whole thing. It's your first time going for a walk, Hector. So. That's Hectorio Geraldo the first to give him his full name, or obviously Hector for short. Um, I think we've got ourselves a whole heap of trouble there, but it's also going to be a load of fun. I mean, it has been fun since we've had him. He's an absolute mental case. He runs up and down the boat like a lunatic. He loves this little laser dot he's got. He jumps all over the furniture. He's not been not too bad with chewing. Um, he's absolutely fascinated with the sights, the sounds and the smells of the canal. Um, he absolutely loves it. Um, he's got his own Twitter page, so if you want to search for that, you just look for Hectorio Geraldo on Twitter. Uh, he's also got his own Facebook page under the same name, so um, I know, completely mad. But there you go, it's all good fun. Um, it seems that summer just sort of quickly faded into autumn, and autumn sort of just zipped past as well. And of course we've been restricted with having Hector because um, he hadn't had all his vaccinations when we got him, obviously. He was only, uh, I think he was eight weeks old when we got him. Um, so he had his first set of vaccinations at the start of uh, November and then we had to wait a couple of weeks and then he's had his final ones and he's obviously had to have his gentleman's cluster removed um, but now he's all well and good and he can go out he's had his first week going out for little walks out and about we haven't been taking him too far because he's he, you know he, he bounds around like a lunatic um, but gets tired quite quick as well so he's still a pup still likes a lot of sleep he's sleeping down here now to be fair um, so I didn't do a whole load of filming over autumn because, you know, I've been a bit restricted, but I did go out with um, actually my friend's son because I was teaching him doing some work experience uh, on media and stuff and filming. So here's what we did. Have a look. So that pretty much brings us up to date. We're just about to head into December. Um, it's getting colder outside. Um, it's getting frosty, nice frosty mornings. Um, it's not getting cold in the boat because we turn the fire on, then open all the windows, open all the flaps, open the doors. Yeah, you all know what I mean. Um, so there's just one other thing that I need to um, address. And so many people ask us, how do, what camera did we use to do that? How did you do that? What apps are you using? All that lot. Now I don't really want to go into that on this channel because obviously a lot of you just like to know what we get up to on the boat you don't want to know all the tech nonsense so we are actually starting up another channel um which is called s90 media uh, the links will be in the uh, below we have got the youtube channel set up. there's nothing really there yet but if you want to subscribe to that 
and then yeah, you're ahead of the game. We've also got a Twitter one with S90 Media as well. If you want to follow on there, that'll announce everything that we're doing. Um, we'll probably do an Instagram as well and a few other things. That's just for people who are interested in how to film. It'll be right basic stuff, right from being able to do a decent video with your phone through to action cameras, then obviously through all the way up to you know professional grade mirrorless cameras with gimbals and 360 cameras, maybe even a bit of 3D. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, check out the links below. Hectorio Geraldo's links are down below as well. And that is just about that from me and from Hectorio, Hectorio Geraldo. Bulu bulu ding ding ding. Bye. Say bye, Hector. Bye. Gah.